Welcome back to World of Warcraft Cataclysm Classic Blind. We've got a new thing to do. Entirely new. Archaeology. Visit a trainer to learn archaeology. Archaeology allows you to discover valuable treasures and learn ancient lore of the world. Sounds good to me. Let's go get some treasures and lore. From somewhere. <laughs> Need help? New reforging, new transmarification. Information. Ah, we'll worry about that later. Let's see if we can find profession trainer. Archaeology. Harrison Jones teaches archaeology in Stormwind Keep's Royal Library when not out in the field. Be careful. Royal Library, huh? This is just an actual quest. Not what we're currently doing. Royal Library, over here. We still could look all around Stormwind, all the new stuff. What if we can fly straight into the capital here? Straight into the main area. Nice statue. <laughs> this is mostly new here at the keep. This intersection. It's kind of chilling. Let's see. <laughs> All the way in here, huh? There is the king. Over past this, there is a portal. Always a good time. Right over here. Archaeology. And it is search for fact, not truth. If it's truth you're interested in, call his philosophy class right down the hall. Harrison Jones. Hey, geez, you have a lost city, this guy traveling, digging up the world. I was gonna do that. 70% of all archaeology is done in the library. Research, reading. You can't afford to take mythology at face value. I expect we are actually going to be doing quite a bit of it. looking around the world. Well, next week, there is the excavation of Broken Pillar by Herman Rizzi in year 22. If you're doing research, if anybody's got any problems for the next hour and a half. Let's see, students and people? Alright. Well, let's see what we got. You? You're a train in archaeology? Yeah. Alright. Development Development School. Apprentice, journeyman, expert, artisan, master, grandmaster, illustrious grandmaster. We need to get to 50, 125, 200, 275, 350, 425. Just starting out here. Allow an archaeologist to find artifact fragments and complete artifacts with a maximum potential skill of 75. Once you get to 50, you can get this instead. Then 125, etc., etc. Let's start with. The base. A cost of eight silver. Oh boy. We have a new spell, survey, and a new ability, archaeology. Have a good one. Okay. Spells and stuff. It's gonna be passive here, I presume. Got a lot of stuff in here. Over time, just passive. Shoot. Up skill. Stone form. Profession. Maybe a profession here. Archaeology. Yeah. Survey. Survey for archaeological fragments from the dig site. Each survey will direct you closer to the location of the fragment. Okay. We'll put this on the bar here. What's this food? Cooking. First aid. I don't really use the target too often. I always make that again. Put survey on the bar. I guess we don't really need find minerals as a thing here. I guess it's on here. Kind of get it. There's five minerals and there's find treasure. Either way. Tracking flight. That's good enough. Alright, survey in dig sites. Okay. Show dig sites. You know, look at your map to see archaeological dig site locations. I don't see any. Good day to you. Doesn't really tell you how to do it, does it? Just see you go around. for it, I suppose. Let's see here. 
Archaeology. Here's some more information. To recover artifacts, you need to collect artifact fragments. Artifacts are found in dig sites, visible on your map. When you reach a dig site, use the survey ability. Your survey tool will indicate the approximate direction and distance to the cache of fragments. Collect fragments three times in a dig site, for you need to move to a new dig site. Once you have enough fragments, you can solve an artifact and learn a little more about Azeroth's past. Happy hunting. Map markers. These are going to be colored area or the little travel. Completed artifacts, one of 75. That's just our skill. You have not, currently do not have any complete artifacts. Find fragments and keystones to complete artifacts. Okay. And then there's the races for archaeology. Very cool. Completed info. Okay. We have a list somewhere. All the different ones. Could be somewhere else. At any rate, let's see what there is to see. Anything? Anything out here? We need to actually go to the area to be able to see it. Because we're still technically in Stormwind here. We can fly from here, that's convenient. Alright. There's the island with the portal to places. We've got other things to do. Or else I'll just flying around. Alright. Let's get out of the area here. So we can actually see something. Out in Elwyn Forest here. At least get a start on stuff. There's the Valley of Heroes. I've never been to the Valley of Heroes here. First, be in new areas. Alright. Not seeing anything immediately here. Let's see if we can see anything anywhere else. I also need to remember we need, we're very low level in archaeology. Oh, there's something. See, this is what it should look like. This is in Searing Gorge, so unlikely to be beneficial for us here. You think it would start in like the lower level areas? There seems to be a lot of spots going. My goodness. Oh, here's something in Badlands. Again, too high level. I guess maybe it could be in higher level areas. Let's see what's around. Duskwood. Stranglethorn. Cape of Stranglethorn. If you see these on the upper map, that'd be good. Burning Step. Here's Searing Gorge. Or flight paths are quicker. Baylands at Oldham. That checks out. Can we even get there from here anymore? It's kind of a giant hole. Possibly not. I mean, we can fly, so technically, yes. I guess we just head towards Searing Gorge. Start going for it. And if we can't actually use it there, we'll find out. There's some copper. <laughs> now we're looking for it. Alright. Here's a burned section. This is new. Used to be a whole field here. There's still a field here. But now it's got Blackrock Invaders instead of Defias guys. Alright, cool. All this exploring around will also help with looking at all the new places. There's also potential that there's a lot of new stuff like up in the mountains here. Because previously, you couldn't really get up here normally. 
<laughs> you still totally could get up to a lot of the mountains. We explored around there, up here before. Now you can actually go here. Oh wow. The Whelping Downs. My goodness. It is fiery as could be here. That's a mithril. I don't know if that's worth stuff anymore. Really depends on how the markets are doing. We can XP for mining it. There's a dead dragon in there. I mean, it's in the fire. How safe is this? It stood in fire. This is mostly fine. Oh no, we're currently dying. Ow. Alright, we're gonna have a snack. Oh, now it's not on fire. How peculiar. <laughs> Something happening here. <laughs> but anyways, <laughs> can't stop. Can't stop myself from mining. We're, we're trying to do archaeology. We need different kinds of stuff from the ground. This is fine too. Where's aquamarine. This whole area was wildly on fire, and now it's not anymore. Did the dig site? No, the dig site's up in Searing Gorge. We can't kind of see it from here though. Past Black Rock Mountain here. There it is. Black Rock Mountain. Is there a flight path here now? Look at that. Could be a new flight path too. They seem to add some of these various achievements. I know no connected flight locations. Okay, that's also a potential thing. With the entire world changed, we might not have all the flight locations anymore. Eh, that could be something we would want to potentially get going. So we don't have to fly to everywhere. So we don't have as good of a teleportation around the world network without all those portals in Dalaran anymore. I'll keep an eye out for those. But there, you would think there would have been one still in Morgan's Vigil, but maybe we don't have that either. Yeah. Well, let's go dig in here. Right here at the Grimsilt dig site. Used to be enemies here. There's still enemies here? That's like yes. For the mythical deposit. But it does make things more difficult. Anywhere that's good for getting archaeology going, I frequently have a lot of guys. Enemies. Could go to any friendly locations though. Let's do some surveying. Alright. Got some survey equipment set up. A telescope. Did it tell us anything? Is it this way? Got it. <laughs> survey. It's green. Let's go pointing that way. Well, that's supposed to mean something. <laughs> I think it's the direction that we face. Oh! Dwarf archaeological find. Archaeology. 24,000 XP. And. Dwarf archaeology experiment times 10. Okay. yellow and this direction. So that means we're not as close, presumably. Green and blinking in this direction. And there's Fox. Eight more Dwarven Archaeology Fragments. And Archaeology, three. Oh, and this one's right here. Perfect. Found eight more fragments. 
then that finishes this entire dig site. That's awkward. How many fragments do we need to do something with? Missions, archaeology. 26 out of 30 for one of these. There's dwarf and then all the other ones. I don't know if we're going to be able to really choose what we're going for. There's one over here in the Badlands. Go that way. So it looks like there's a road that goes from here to the Badlands. Searing Gorge. Yeah. Kind of a road, kind of just a chasm. That works fine. Badlands. Ruin of, ruins of Karnath. The tops of the mountains are just completely gone. I'm gonna keep mining this mithril. I can't help myself. <laughs> I'm just having a good time. Mining stuff. Some buzzards. Angle our way over that way. New Karnath. Look at the... Uh, just the tops of the mountains have been just obliterated. Big scar in the land here. My goodness. Well, Tannis. This cool guy. Throw a boulder at me. Alright. Nothing special. State. Oh, I can mine him. <laughs> Worth it. <laughs> Strange pebbles. And pretty pebbles. Shank. <laughs> we gotta stop getting distracted here. <laughs> We're gonna try to find various artifacts and things. It's interesting that there are items just in an interface, and not just actual stuff. Angor Fortress, chilling. Shadow guys, Dark Iron Dwarves, and all that. Old Man is an obvious spot for some archaeology. Right up here. Again, having to contend with enemies. I'm trying to do stuff here. Green and Blinken. It's pretty close. Probably. There it is. Dwarven archaeological find. That's enough to do a thing, presumably. Confessions. Here. It just opens up this here. Okay. Dwarven baby socks. Dwarf common. The dwarves of Ironforge were originally composed of three clans the Bronze Beards, the Wild Hammers, and the Dark Irons. As a result of a civil war, the Bronze Beards were left in control of the city of Ironforge, while the Wild Hammers eventually retreated to the Hinterlands and Twilight Hinterlands. The Dark Iron Dwarves came to dwell in between the Red Ridge Mountains and the Burning Steps in the shadow of Black Rock Mountain. Now we have to solve this. We solve it. There you go. We solved it. <laughs> and we get the socks. They vendor for one gold. My goodness. Dwarf, 4 out of 32, or something. That gave us 5 levels. That's pretty good. So we need 32 for the next artifact here. Green, Lincoln going that way. Luckily we can quickly dispatch. Yellow, I'm pointing this, it might be, might have been the other way. Let's see which way it's pointing. Yeah, it's pointing this way. Just casually jump up this hill here with a dragon. 
As you do. <laughs> More further this way. We can just get it while fighting too. That's alright. Seven more fragments there. Yellow and this way, so it's a decent distance. Flash it over here. So even just flashing, it'll still be a decent distance away. Oh goodness. Also, the question is if it's going to be relative to the size of the dig site. That's 12, and another 7 fragments. Okay. So now there's nothing here. No wetlands. There's going to be a lot of traveling with this. Anything at all would be great. Further north? No, all the way up here in the Arathi Highlands or something. Oh, here's... you can actually see them. These are ones we can see from this level. There's some going down the ogre mound there. More to the north here. We always pop back to Stormwind. I'll be alright. And this is the giant chasm between Badlands and Lachmadon. That is absolutely... Oh, well, might be passable. A little ramping down here, ramping up here, and it's passable. Look at that. Well, that's nice. For people that can't just fly across. <laughs> and the lake has been drained. Oh no, all the... All the Thessatons are dead. And buzzards have come out. My goodness. Oh, there still could be some living down in the water here. The Madon monster. Got some snapping turtles. Wild. Let's see, let's go over to Felsimar here. See if we do need to re unlock all the flight paths. Or see what the situation is. It's not on the map, so it looks like it's still collected. What's that what are we looking at here? Yeah. We can get to everywhere. But apparently, nothing connected to the one that we just got. How weird. Well, with it. Can I stay everywhere else? Questionable. Alright. This ends straight north, all the way up to here. With the Bark Village. If we can get resources from other races here, too. I don't think we could really just focus on one thing. The travel times are going to get in the way of that idea. We're getting a decent amount. 18 out of 32. We're getting a good amount of fragments per. 7, 8, 10. That's reasonable. Here is where the dam used to be. That exploded. It's destroyed. And that's why all the water escaped from the lake. Came down here. Just brush washing out this area down here a little bit. It's like the half. It's more of a cave now or something? Oh, it's something. It was more of a cave there for a little bit. It's off to the side, so that's fine. Alright. A little further north here. Along the side of the lake here. Green Warden's Grove. So many places. Wetlands. Green Warden's Grove. That is new. The new flight path. 
hippogriffs. So it's like a it's like a hippogriff system, which isn't connected to the Griffin system for some reason. And it doesn't work. <laughs> Weird. <laughs> Anyways, we continue north. There is the Twilight Highlands right over here. Well, that is a whole new place. I'm sure we will get there at some point. Just say 84, 85, so. Probably one of the higher level areas. So these guys still chilling. I have a flight back here. A wild spot to put up a flight path. Here they are. See, this one connects to all the other ones. Okay. The... Presumably, there must be at least some more of the hippogriff flight path system. Or they... wouldn't be much of a flight path if they don't connect to anything. Seems strange. <laughs> Anyways. And over here, Arathi Highlands. Looking mostly the same. Over to the dig site here, which is just this entire village. Ogre stuff. I see ogres are more over here. Boulder Fist. Where are the back villages over here? In the range. And we are. It's gonna be far away. Red in that direction. Sliding. Yellow in this direction. A bunch of trolls around here. Flashing in this direction. Troll archaeology, archaeology find. Okay. Found seven of those. Got another archaeology XP. Archaeology level. We got lots of XP for doing this too. That's okay. Red in this direction, so that's a long distance. Red in this direction. All the different races to find a whole bunch of stuff. Yellow in this direction. We're going slightly further than we need to here. Could do some kind of triangulation thing. It's a possibility. Flashing in this direction. Still flashing. Something. <laughs> They'll troll and take their archaeology finds. Brilliant. Yellow this way. It does go across the water here too, so technically it could be even further. Flashing in this direction. Still flashing. I guess it's out there fishing. And more finds. Is that many? So just shy of enough to make a troll bit here. Okay. And now, we need to go to the next site, which is over here. Slightly over in those red foothills, down near the wall here. There's a dollar and creator. You just kind of see it on the map here, even. And it looks like they are spawning here. Because there's now another one down to the south here. So let's go also go over to Kalimdor. There's some stuff going on over there, too. Anything happened in Northrend? Doesn't look like currently. Could be just these areas kind of thing. There's at least two, three spawned over here. And there's four spawned over here, so. There's Stormguard Keep. Good. And 
across these mountains that we're pretty much right where we need to be. It is really wild just to be able to just fly everywhere. It really is very convenient. Okay. Just down here at Dungarok. Where we got spooky ghosts and friendly ghosts and bears. Good times. Had by all. Red in this direction. Okay. Not sure how precisely it goes in the direction it's in. Like how many angles the prospecting can be in. Seems to be pretty good at it. Further. Yep. More dwarf stuff. Perfect. 24,000 XP. Presumably that's just tied to what level you are. Because I imagine getting like 10 XP would not be particularly useful at this stage. It's blinking this far away, really. There it is. More dwarf stuff. Still getting a level every time here. See how that continues. Red in this way, huh? We also got many levels for solving. So. That's something. Red in this direction now, huh? We got enough to do another dwarven solve here. So red, still this way. I feel like the first one sent us off course. Might not be the most precise of instruments here. I mean, you should also consider we are very low level, so. Our results may vary. Dead guys here. What, all the, what made all the ghosts and all that? Right, there's some stuff. After level 18, check the map. It's gone. We'll check in here. We have enough for the next dwarf one. Bone Gaming Dice. Dwarf Common. The Dwarves of Ironforge were originally composed of three clans. You even know that. Bronze Beard, Black Hammer, and Dark Irons, Civil War, Hinterlands, Red Mountains, Let's see, Black Mountain. Why just be the same history each time, but a different bit of stuff? I'd like to get more different history here, too. Let's get some interesting things. Bone gaming dice. Not useful. Vendors for a gold. Okay. And another five levels for finishing that. That's pretty good. Let's see. Oh. Back over here at the trolls again. Distance is something. I guess another thing to consider is if we want to get all of the races quote unquote finished. I don't know if it's really a finished system. Look on this. It's just a map to the next one. 23 out of 75. That's just our level. That's the amount we need for the next thing. I don't know if there's really... I think I remember seeing like more of a list-like list. -like list. I'm not sure. Archaeology. I don't have its own page here. It's got this. I don't know. I guess we're going to be getting some troll stuff, then. If you want to focus on a specific one, which has potential, we would need to go to the correct locations. For our purposes, I think we'll be just fine just constantly going to whatever one's closest for now. Maybe it'll be more useful when we actually get to a higher level to worry about that kind of thing. Troll fragments. Right this way. I 
Having enemies around definitely changes things, too. Good enough for a troll song. this way. It's just further. I said before it could be across the lake here. That is true. Oh. Oh, flashing. Means we're fairly close. All things considered. Seems like it might actually be actual distance and not relative distance with the colors and information. Because it's red if it's far away. It's not like relatively red. I think it's just correct. Let's run this way. We got their drums going. Fun time. They're just ignoring the guy on the dragon here. Which is the correct choice. Still red, still this way. With the larger ones, the larger dig sites here, red can be any amount of distance. That was quite a distance. So Lincoln. Go. More troll fragments. Alright. Let's solve a troll one. History of the trolls. The known trolls belong to the Zandalar tribe, from which all other trolls are descended. Zandalari were regarded as an overreaching priest caste, for all trolls worked tirelessly to record and preserve troll society and traditions. Of the many tribes that split off from the Zandalari, the two most dominant were the Gurubashi and Amani. Troll Zandalari Voodoo Doll. Solve. Not really much of a solve. It's more of just works. <laughs> Another gold worth of that. It's definitely something. Another five levels. Works for me. All right. Where to next? That's one over slightly further into the Rathi Highlands, along the river. There's also one up here at Zolmashar. Presumably that would also be troll description. Look at the different ones here. We got troll, dwarf. We haven't found any from the other ones. So there would be like human, orc, and such. Probably gonna be in different locations, obviously. Definitely get a few gold from these. Oh, that's super crazy so far. Obviously, going to find better things at higher levels. Or just, might, probably just chances. But probably need to at least have a certain level to actually get higher level things. What's the level to get the next bit from Storm Wind? 50. Try to keep note of that so make sure we can return to get the higher level bits every time. Would be wise. We're at 31 so far. Yeah, the early levels are not particularly challenging. Can we use that here? Survey. Red, and this way. There can be a lot of places, red and this way. Still red in this way. It's kind of a decent sized strip of land on either side of the river here. That's this direction. Lots of moving around for this. Kind of something you need to be actively looking for. A fossil archaeology find. Okay. Fossil something. 
fossils along the rivers? Makes sense. Freaked out by our ghost. <laughs> He's always here. <laughs> that was a good time. More fossils. Definitely something different. What kind of fossil stuff we can get. Yellow here. And one more fossil bit. Not enough to make a fossil find here. That's alright. Looks like they've been moving down to the south here. Let's head north to get this one here. All the way up at Silmashar. Ruins of the Scarlet Enclave. What's up, chapel? Can't just click into the ghost lands. Ghost lands. Going generally the correct direction here. Okay. Through the mountains. Play land seems to be relatively the same here. Pretty much. Okay. Yeah, a lot of traveling for this. I guess that's fine. If we went down here, we could get many in a row. Which we may very well do. There's gonna be troll stuff here. Should get enough to get another troll roll here. The Three levels for finding stuff, and then five levels for making it. We're still not going to be quite level 50. We get another something to spawn up in the northern section here after we finish this one. That could work. Small maps. Not showing dig sites on the map would be a little bit ridiculous. That's a good feature to have. Because <laughs> they can be far away in any part of the world. So I can just look around for mining spots that are just everywhere all the time. They're in very specific locations and constantly moving. <laughs> it should be a lot worse without flying. And also being at least slightly higher level. What level you can actually get flying out here at? Since we were already the max level when it came out here. It's gonna be. There's definitely gonna be some requirements. You got the levels for being able to use a mount, fast mounts, and flying mounts, and fast flying mounts, and flying in the snow, and flying in. The rest of the world. And flying in outer space place. It's a whole it's a whole thing. More mithril. <laughs> I just wanna do the archaeology here. Yeah, right up over this hill here. A little mountains can stop us. In Zolmashar. That's some stuff. And <laughs> Just barge into their towns, like, yeah, I'm doing archaeology on your town right now. I take all your things. Dig sites, they say. Slightly questionable. Slightly questionable. Troll stuff. I got you level. Yellow this way. Pop for a bit. I got your eyeballs a weakling. Yeah, how's that going for you? 
Yoink. And red in this way. <laughs> it's be able to quickly move around. It does speed this up pretty significantly. Definitely not. So you want to do it at a very low level. We'll see if there's many things we actually get from doing this. I think we're going to be finding things of note. This last from here. Another troll bit. Took 30. A finish of Hirak. And the history is still just the history. Solve it. Alright. There you go. That was another five balls. Okay. Map. They're all over the south now. That's unfortunate. So we have to go to Stormwind. I guess we don't need the slightly higher level until we get a little bit over leveled. So we should be able to just go get all these. Stormwind. Let's sell and vendor some bits. These aren't useful for anything besides just selling. <laughs> Find all these ancient artifacts. Just throw them in a random store. <laughs> Sometimes that'd be how it is. I have the finest wares in the land. Sell so the chief rocks and the graves. One gold each. Go for it. See you soon. Could be worse. Could be worse. Right. Let's chuck these in the auction house here. It's nice that the doors are dragon sized now. <laughs> That's been pretty convenient for me. Mithril. Post it. Aquamarine. Go for it. Probably gonna do another look around in the auction house for cooking recipes and potions and such. Discovered a new transmutation. See if, we have to f see if we feel like flight paths are quicker. They're potentially more convenient, if nothing else. This went down towards Darshire. I mean, let me just go. Also, with our flight, we can just go a direction and know that we're on the right path. I think that's pretty. Fair enough. Also, it's time to look around. Anything else interesting happened in Stormwind? Not particularly. Also, just this fire thing. At some point, it would have been nice if the achievement for looking at all the new stuff wasn't like auto completed because we've technically been to all the places. Because then we could have had more of a list of things to go look at. I suppose we could just look at that list. That would work too. Duskwood. This is going to be an ogre setting. You can tell by the way that it is. And the fact that we've been to some of these places. Except for any of, any of the dig sites that are in like new areas. Or changed areas at least. There's going to be dig sites in the higher level areas. There's also potential that we're only seeing the lowest levels of dig sites. Even though they've been in slightly higher level locations. I don't know. Been down in here. Ogre Mount. Archaeologizing zinging it up. Red this way. Red that way now. Sometimes it feels like it's not quite there. It's more of a possible direction that slowly gets you towards it. We're looking for hints and information. This is fossil. Okay. Not ogre. Eh, whatever. I feel like there was a list of what they all are. But now that's on this menu, we can only see the ones that we've already found. 
running around. Having a good old time. Fossil find. Alright. Go this way. Flashing this way. Flashing. There you go. 45. And if we go to the fossil here. Fossils are the preserved remains of animals or plants from the ancient past. Usually the living tissues are replaced with minerals to preserve the form of the original organism. A shard of petrified wood. Solve it. I don't really solve that much of anything. It's kind of putting it together, figuring it out. There's 50. So technically we could go get the next level in Stormwind right now. But these ones are right down here. Save us a trip here. And also part stone timers and all that. Let's pop right over here. To the ruins of Zolkanda. Just flying through the trees. Perfect visibility. Everything's fine. Somebody's already purchased our aquamarine. Things are looking great. Alright. There's definitely some differences here in Stranglethorn. This bit here in the middle. Oh. <laughs> in the trees. Let's head down here. Into the ruins. A lot of trolls in here. Right. This way, good distance. Yellow this way, huh? Let's go over in this room then. It's flashing in this direction. Don't worry about me. I'm just collecting things. Yellow this way. We're technically still inside. Let's yellow this way. Or if we can just be anywhere. If there's specified points in the dig site that it could technically be in. Are we not getting we're not getting levels anymore? It's real safety. And so we will avoid researching anything. I'd say it was up to 75, but clearly not. Yellow this one? Right, that's a good reason to return then, I suppose. Oh god. I can get any levels here. That's where it said 75, though. It's 50 to unlock the next one. So it's up to level 75. Yeah, whatever. We have enough to get a troll. Yes, we do. We'll do that once we have access. See, it's, it's, see here it's 50 out of 75. Maybe we don't get levels... We don't, can't get the levels 50 to 75 from getting the fragments. We could still get levels for completing things. But if that's the case, there's no reason to not go and get the next bit. Ooh, there's one at the Twilight Grove now. Let's head back to Stormwind here. Get the level up. We can get levels again, presumably. So far, I've not gotten anything more interesting than bits that sell for one gold. Still very early here. It's level 50, and max is going to be at 525. So, we're a ways away from that. Also, need to get everything else. So, why not? I'm back into Stormwind. And specifically, we need to go to right over here. We can fly all the way to this section, which would be great. Access to the next level tier here. 
Should be good. A good start, at least. I'm doing some scaffolding, trying to fix the broken tower here. That's like in the starting screen, too. Wild stuff. Into the heap. It's flying a dragon into the library. What can I do? For Train me, journeyman, archaeology. You need to be at least level twenty. That's fine. Level seventy-five for the top one. Man, doesn't really matter. One twenty-five for the next one. Safe travel. Really perfect. Okay. Troll solve to get a lizard foot charm. Amazing. There's an actual weapon here. Or dinnerware, I guess. It's more of a knife than actually something of interest. Okay. I guess that's fine. <laughs> Alright. So that gets us to the next stage of archaeology. Journeyman. Amazing. So then, just keep going around to more places. See if we can find something beyond just some cheap random bits we can sell to a store. Probably going to need a significantly higher level before we actually get things of note. We will continue digging some stuff up. Next time. Goodbye.